Hi guys, um, this is exam help and I'm just going to go over the structure of benzene um, and what we think it might be and what we th what we used to think it could have been. However, that's been disproved. Now I'm going to actually go over how that how that model was disproved. So the original model, the original model that really stuck, was Kekulé's model, and uh, this is as shown here. So this is what Kekulé's model looks like, and uh, so we have a double bond here, followed by a single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. So uh, we see that there's three carbon-carbon bonds here, technically. So um, each carbon will then form another bond with the hydrogen, which does actually go by the uh, C6H6. However, this isn't actually right. We're just going to go over that why it isn't actually right so the first reason that we thought it isn't actually it can't really be right is the fact it has low reactivity we expect as it's got the uh, C double bond C uh, bonding in it we're going to expect it to have pretty high reactivity so these two points actually contradict each other really so the low reactivity it isn't really it just contradicts it really so because of these uh, possible C double bond C's um, we're going to think of it kind of like an alkene so we're going to expect it to react in the same way so one reaction that it does is uh, what alkenes do is when we react it with bromine water and the bromine Sep uh, breaks apart the double bond and then reacts and then produces an, a saturated molecule um, which is colourless so this therefore decolorizes the bromine water however this doesn't happen with benzene so what Kekulé proposed is, uh, is this he proposed that there was actually an equilibrium being reached so there's a reversible reaction changing a single bond double bond sorry uh, double bond to single bond and it kept on alternating and this didn't give the uh, bromine chance to react with the carbons um, which means it wouldn't decolorize the benzene but in chemistry everything in reality is pretty simple it's pretty logical so if we're going to uh, overcomplicate things, it's probably going to be wrong. So this wasn't, this, this didn't really take off. So this equilibrium model didn't actually take off, and it's oh sorry, uh, it was been later proven to be actually incorrect. And another thing, another reason why we don't think that this is correct. So we'll cross that through. Uh, is the uh, the fact that uh, carbon carbon bond lengths are actually uh, the shorter than C double bond C bond lengths. So if we had uh, alternating bonds here it's not actually going to be the like symmetrical but Kekulé's model states that it's symmetrical so this isn't actually correct because well, these double bonds are going to be longer have a short single bond longer shorter longer shorter so um, we can see that that's not going to be right but we've actually found out through x-ray studies that uh, six uh, of the carbon carbon bond lengths in benzene are all the same length. This is actually known to be 0 0.139 nanometers. And this is actually somewhere in the middle uh, of the uh, uh, C, the singular bond length of uh, 
0.153 nanometers. Uh, sorry, 0.0.134 uh, is the double bond, double bond length, and then it's slightly bigger than that. Put put it as x, and it's actually slightly smaller than the single bond length. So I got the first thing wrong. Um, that should really be the other way round there okay so that, that doesn't really matter but um, we just want to know that it's in the middle between single bond and double bond really this is important evidence which suggests the Keck clay structure is incorrect so uh, this proposed structure by Kekule isn't actually correct we've really seen um, so we're going to compare this to uh, the proposed structure which is actually looking at it it's just basically cyclohexa123 triene so I'll just write that down for you um, and then we can uh, quickly go through that cyclohexa Cyclohexa uh, one three five triene. So it's a alkene. It's got double bond on the first, third, and fifth carbon, and it's got six carbons, and it's in a cyclic structure. So it's going to be this. So let's compare it to that. So we're going to compare it to the hydrogenation of uh, this. So when an alkene reacts with hydrogen, the uh, energy change that takes place using negative is called the enthalpy of hydrogenation. When cyclohexane, uh, hexene, sorry, with one carbon carbon, carbon double, C double bond C, sorry, bond reacts with hydrogen the enthalpy change is minus 120 kilojoules per mole okay so um, that's just with one of these so these here would instead be just single bonds so that's just one double bond so we would expect if it was to be triene, then the would expect the change to be 360 uh, minus 360, which is just three times uh, the original value because it's got three times the number of um, uh, to move on. So. Um, We'll do this with benzene, but this isn't actually right. Real benzene gives uh, a very low 208 kilojoules per mole. So this gives even more evidence that this structure is in fact incorrect. Um, this is probably the most important uh, conclusion the actual structure of benzene has uh, has much less energy uh, compared to the proposed structure um, the energy is known uh, the energy of benzene is 152 kilojoules per mole which is a lot more stable than Kekulé's given structure and this energy is known as the delocalization energy or residence energy of benzene. And we'll go through that in a uh, future video. Um, and we'll go through the actual structure of benzene in a later video and the delocalized model of it. So I hope this kind of helps. And this is this isn't really going into much about the structure of benzene. It's really going into why Kekulé structure wasn't actually correct. Um, we'll be going into more detail of the structure in a later video but i hope that helped anyway um that was exam help thank you for watching